Rwanda. The name has become synonymous with the word emergency. But as UNICEF and its partners race to respond to the desperate needs of millions of Rwandans, a whole new emergency strategy was making its debut. Along with food, clean water, and medical supplies, thousands of children were able to return to school, thanks to a new strategy called School in a Box, or the Teacher's Emergency Package. Uh, the Teacher Emergency Package is meant to be a first emergency intervention for education. In most emergencies in the past, education has been seen as an add-on at the very late stage. We have felt very strongly, both inside Rwanda as well as outside, that education is a vital part of the social fabric of society. And that without that structure, without the, the learning process, the, the kind of tearing apart of society that Rwanda has known can't start to be mended. After the war, everything was destroyed. There were no desks, no books, no slates. Children were fleeing everywhere with their families. During the crisis, many teachers were killed or fled the country. For those who returned to their villages, like Felicite Uzarea, the teacher's emergency package was a godsend. Compact but complete, her school in a box contains all the materials to instantly create a classroom for up to 80 students. Overnight, this community could provide a haven for learning and healing. The teacher's emergency package is extremely useful. There is a teacher's guidebook which helped me prepare my lessons and many useful materials. If school is kept open and life becomes normal again, the children will start a new life. They will feel more at peace and start to gain confidence. Even when there are no buildings left standing, children have benefited and are beginning to thrive again. UNICEF's quick reaction has been key. Within a month after the war ended, UNICEF and its partners began the delivery of 7,000 teachers' emergency packages across the country, benefiting 600,000 children. The school in a box provides everything needed for a full year of primary education, all for just $170, or about $2 per pupil. Simple and well-designed, even an inexperienced adult can effectively teach with the package. Most of our qualified instructors were killed. The school materials were pillaged, so we didn't have the basics to begin teaching. Odette Agnès works with UNICEF, training teachers to use the package. Each package contains slates and washable fabric charts, plus conventional school materials like chalk, pencils, and erasers. And in order for teachers to make their own blackboards, a brush and paint are included. Along with the colorful, sturdy materials for reading, writing, and arithmetic, other components cover lessons vital to the children's long-term safety and recovery from the war. In a country now scattered with thousands of deadly landmines, all school-in-a-box teachers have been trained to teach mind awareness and to lead role-playing exercises, lessons that will save lives for years to come. Not only does UNICEF concern itself with protecting children's bodies, but also their minds. Tremendous numbers of children in Rwanda have personally experienced uh, their parents being killed, their houses being burned down, other people being killed. And, and that's something that if, for example, one travels around Rwanda, you see still bodies lying out in churches in the, in the countryside. And that's not, that's not an image that a child can easily get through. For children who have witnessed atrocities, and most Rwandan children have, school provides the first and perhaps only place where they can work through their pain. I went through a lot of bad things. That's why it's difficult to talk. All four of my brothers were killed in the war. One older, three younger. I had to escape on my own. My parents died during the war. Our house was destroyed. During the war, I didn't know what was happening. I couldn't think. But now that I'm at school, I'm fine. 
Training every teacher to identify and work with the traumatized children is crucial to their recovery. When I find that a child seems to be suffering, I try to talk with him and encourage him to connect with others because virtually all the children have gone through these terrible experiences. So we share experiences, we exchange ideas, and we tell ourselves that we have to try and move beyond what we've been through. Each child needs a trained, equipped teacher like Felicité Uizarer, but funds are scarce. We have to continue, we can't stop now. We, we have to get this amount of money so that it's not an education system with half of the schools functioning with half of the, the teachers trained. Because of UNICEF's decisive action, the Rwanda experience has elevated education to its rightful place in emergency relief strategy. But more funds must be raised so that children trapped in crisis will finally get what they've always needed, not just the means to keep them alive, but the means to make them whole again. They don't have parents. They don't have relatives. They don't have anyone to take care of them except the country, and the country is destroyed. So, if you can help them to go to school, you will not just be saving an individual child, you will be saving an entire generation.